right. So guys, if I could just ask you literally to hold position. Most of you charged your glasses anywhere about five or six times during the course of the tournament. So that uh, match, that's perfect. Just hold position a little bit. I think it's absolutely right that we all give our full respect to the players in terms of the prize giving. And uh, also as well to the rest of the organisation committee as well, which will uh, make our thanks to those two as well. So obviously, make as much noise as you want to right now for a couple of minutes time. We're just going to bring in the, uh, it's, it's, it's very similar to the Olympics in terms of the podium. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, obviously as well we have uh, some fireworks and uh, some dancing teams. Champions League in the Olympics, okay, all right. We have a monumental tour. Yes, yeah, don't worry, I'll carry this on. <laughs> okay. So we're just gathering the last bits and pieces as well. Even the smallest of tournaments takes a lot of work to put together and it requires people to contribute and this is not you know we are not at the, at the professional level in terms of organization we are more than at the professional level when it comes down to the level of, of the standard of play but obviously at these smaller tournaments those tournaments that i say are the platform for a professional career it requires a lot of people to put their own time their own energy and their own resources into making it happen it's been a fantastic week. We have to thank people who aren't even here as well. People behind the scenes in the club, people like Pete Doddy, who make sure that on a Monday, the, court, the, the, the bleachers go down and the court seats go back as well. So I always say you know, thank, a huge thank you to Pete for that, sort of, that side of things as well. Obviously, in terms of the chairman of the club, Tony McAllister, who will be doing the presentations as well, he has to sit there and make sure that everything is uh, the i's are dotted and the t's are crossed chris hall our coach who i mean genuinely unfortunately he was playing as well as i've ever seen him play yeah. and he got injured a week before the tournament <laughs> going to make sure Jamie got a win. Now we're going to keep the tournament going to make sure Hawley gets a game, you know, that's the main thing as well. Take so one we'll game. absolutely be back next year as well, that's for sure. But Hawley has been absolutely fantastic. He's diving into the safe now trying to get the Monopoly money sorted out as well. Who is in front of you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Thank you. There's the old shot. But no, so Hawley, with specifically, it. It's a bit of a giggle, but this is ace, isn't it? Yes. The score thing, the TV, the stream downstairs as well. That's Matt. That's Matt down there. <laughs> so it's uh, you know again, that's a thank you. There are other people as well. Bertie's downstairs, but he always wants to make sure everything runs smoothly. He's sat there. He basically, he's Jan's drinks carrier. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and I do want to say a special thank you. You know, that's Jan. That's Pat Rooney up there as well. Both of those guys are in the semi-finals. They're here tonight as well. That's squad. <laughs> So now we say well done to the players and we say thank you very much. It was a humdinger of a final. We expected nothing. If I can ask Chris and Tony to come up as the presentation group as well. Chris, come on, mate. <laughs> yeah, okay. It was an absolute humdinger of a final. It really was as well. It had everything that we thought it would do. High energy, high intensity, proper go for it as well. The 
There's no conservatism there. It was a really, really, really great game to see as well. Some fantastic play, some extraordinary retrieving and getting everything that we would expect from the final, but also from you know two players as well who I'm convinced we'll see more of, if not here, certainly in the PSA world as well. However, there is only one minute and in second place, playing a fantastic final. We've been an absolute treat to have you here as well. Next place, Davies. <laughs> player who over the last couple of years has moved through the rankings in an extraordinary way. Over the last six weeks he's beaten the world number one, Mohamed El Shabagi in a tournament, been another of the players. He was sat there and he was watching this guy here and he said, watch this guy's movement. This guy's movement is something else as well. It's a it's a real it's a real example of how you know T should be watched and how he should move through as well. And we saw that again today as well. It's fantastic. It's a high energy, extraordinary as well. But our winner, and you know, we've been a treat to watch him play as well. It's the number two seed, but I don't reckon he'll be the number two seed in that many tournaments for the future. Our winner, Victor Crump. <laughs> Six years old, so, uh, so it's 
So I really want to uh, thank him for uh, all the hard work and all the all uh, all his job. He's been uh, all like all his commitment uh, with my sports career and even as a as a young man. So I really want to thank him for all uh, what, what he did for me. Thank you. Thank you all for coming down. Uh, it's Saturday night, and I'm sure you guys might have had better things to do. <laughs> uh, firstly, um, you need to know it's Thanksgiving week in the US, and Victor's given that up to come down and play a 5K. He's, he's studying at Harvard, which is one of the toughest academic schools in the world, and to still be able to play a squash like that is great. Um, he's, not, he's no normal player. He's been in the World Championship final and the British Open final as a junior, so that's nothing small and the sacrifices he's making to come out and play squash like that is absolutely great. So hats off to him. Thank you to the ref. Uh, we give you a tough time, but we mean well when it's <laughs> 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 Chris, um, thanks for doing my laundry last night. I didn't have to do it. That's what you did. Thanks to Patrick. He's been my chauffeur all week, driving me from Ponte, driving me around here because I can't drive. And uh, to Jan for a great match yesterday. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I think uh, see you guys sooner or later. And thanks for coming. Thank yeah. you. Oh. We're going to be doing the raffling in a couple of minutes, so don't go anywhere.